Hi, my name is Kyle Rotter and welcome to this week's Cryptoverse. This week we take a look at a key level for Bitcoin and crypto assets, generally the previous cycle high. We'll then also analyse where the crypto sits in its current trend, explore a model that says it's deeply undervalued and check in on the Bitcoin Ethereum cross and how you can trade it. Bitcoin's previous cycle high refers to the price that Bitcoin reached in its previous bull market. The 2017 bull run saw the cryptocurrency break $1,000 that January before hitting a high that year in December of over $19,000. The price sold off after that run up, however a breakout from that level in 2021 opened up a fresh run higher for Bitcoin to make new record highs. The reason the previous high is important is that Bitcoin has never fallen below that level in its history. It marks a key level of technical support that if broken helps define the series of higher highs and lower lows that define its uptrend. As you can see in this logarithmic chart of Bitcoin's price, it's been a smooth and well-defined uptrend. A break below the previous all-time high around US 19,000, it is said, could usher in a deeper bear market and bring into question its long-term uptrend. The significance of the previous all-time high is that it currently is testing it. As we outlined here in the past, there are several factors mostly linked to the US Federal Reserve's tightening cycle that's pushing Bitcoin lower. The bear market has seen the crypto find support around that $19,000 level, with price seemingly consolidating at it. The bull case is that this marks an opportunity risk reward for buying Bitcoin given it has historically respected these types of levels. Of course, the cryptocurrency could yet break that level, and if it were, the next major level isn't until around US 12,000. For Bitcoin enthusiasts, it is argued current prices represent deep long-term value. It depends on one's fundamental thesis about Bitcoin. On the one hand, proponents suggest that crypto is an intrinsically valuable asset that owing to its finance supply will inexorably rise over time. On the other hand, skeptics suggest it has no essential value and is only worth what buyers and sellers imagine it to be. There are efforts to model the fundamental value of Bitcoin, however, based on its finite supply. One of these models is the stock-to-flow model. Stock-to-flow models are used for a variety of asset classes to assess the current amount of a thing versus the flow of new production of that thing. That is, how much is there now and how much of it will be created in the future. A stock-to-flow model is based on the assumption that Bitcoin is a store of value, which is via currencies created at a faster pace that the new Bitcoin is mined, will have the effect of driving Bitcoin's price higher. As can be observed in the chart here, Bitcoin's stock-to-flow model suggests deep value at current prices. Finally, we take a look at the Bitcoin and Ethereum cross to assess Bitcoin's value against its second biggest crypto counterpart. As we wrote about here in the past, Ethereum is attracting increased interest this month because of the upcoming merge, which many advocates believe could accelerate progress towards the so-called flippening or the event where Ethereum's value surpasses Bitcoin's. As can be seen in this chart, the Bitcoin Ethereum cross is approaching a very key technical level, which if broken, may spark greater upside for Ethereum against Bitcoin.